A giant in the newspaper world passed away today. Pete Hamill died at the age of 85. A real New Yorker who covered life in New York City. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has his story. A legendary voice of New York City has passed away. Pete Hamill authored numerous books, but he was best known as the everyman columnist with a connection to the streets. The son of an Irish immigrant, Pete Hamill was the voice of the disenfranchised. The papers gave a sense of meaning. You were trying to help the new arrivals to understand the city and the older people to understand the new arrivals. With a tone of irony and wit, his words lent balance and grace to a city that at times lacked both. Even though he dropped out of his Brooklyn high school, his career in newspaper writing began in 1960. He would write for three New York tabloids and served as the editor-in-chief of the New York Post and then later the New York Daily News. Hamill even won a Grammy for his liner notes on the Bob Dylan album, Blood on the Tracks. As a journalist, Hamill covered the last 40 years of the 20th century. Over the years, he was a correspondent in Vietnam. He walked with Martin Luther King Jr. in Memphis, and he was just a few feet away from Bobby Kennedy when tragedy struck. Hamill was one of the men who subdued the assassin. He recounted that day on CBS Sunday Morning two years ago. It's a story of what might have been, not about what happened, but what we lost when it happened. What did we lose? Hope. In a business filled with crime and destruction, Hamill brought a sense of empathy to newspaper reporting. His eye for detail and nuance was commonly reserved for the literary world. He would quote Voltaire and Machiavelli while telling the Bernie Getz story. Hamill would chronicle his love for New York by crafting fascinating tales of its people. His persistent optimism was meant to inspire us to recognize our common bonds. If you've also added to the civilizing process that I think every newspaper also has by making strangers know more about each other, letting them embrace each other in certain ways, uh, then you truly have made a difference in the city. It was really interesting to read more about him today and just learn more about his life and I his mean, career. It's and, and, and a celebrity too. He dated Jackie O. Yes. And, yes. And just a man, not just a journalist, but a storyteller. Nobody could craft yeah. words and nobody could tell a story. Never mind write a story. Yeah. Tell a story like Pete Hamill. He said that there's not just one New York City. There's many New York cities. Uh, so I thought that that was a really interesting. He was part line. of all so of them. So true.